Delta Plus may sound like a new streaming service or an upgrade to extra legroom on a domestic flight. If only it was so simple. Delta Plus is a sublineage of the highly contagious coronavirus Delta variant, which is storming across the county and causing COVID-19 case numbers to climb. The name itself, Delta Plus, suggests the variant underwent an upgrade to become more virulent. But while little is known about the sublineage and its mutations, health experts say it's not spreading efficiently now in the US, and Americans shouldn't add it to their pandemic worry list. It's a cool name that's trending, said Dr. Daniel Rhodes, section head of microbiology at the Cleveland Clinic. When someone says, Delta Plus, or any of these new names, it means the virus is continuing to evolve with us, but there's no evidence to suggest the new sublineage should be concerning. Most of the COVID-19 vaccines, and all the ones authorized in the US, use the spike protein to the trigger the body's immune system. The body creates antibodies that recognize the spiked protein on the coronavirus should it ever enter the body and attack. We don't know exactly what, the mutation, does, but we know the spike protein is a key part of the virus because that's primarily what it responds to when we make antibodies, Rhodes said. So far, the Delta Plus variant seems to be all bark and no bite. The A.1 and A.2 sublineages have had plenty of opportunities to spread as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports the Delta variant makes up more than 90% of sequenced coronavirus cases in the US, but it hasn't gained any momentum. If something has a bunch of mutations but it doesn't start taking off, then it is by definition not a problem, said William Hanage, an epidemiologist at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Everyone is obsessed with vaccine escape, mutations. What's more worrying is how quickly it transmits and spreads. When you look at A.1 and A.2, they're a small fraction of Delta cases, and they're not increasing either. The A.1 and A.2 sublineages accounted for only 0.1% and 0.8% of Delta cases, respectively, from July 18 to 31, according to the CDC. To compare, another sublineage of the Delta variant called A.3 made up 9.1% of cases. Hanage and other health experts are more interested in the B1.621 variant, first identified in Colombia, which remains unnamed but is gaining ground quickly in Florida, where a surge is devastating its unvaccinated residents. The state accounts for one-third of all coronavirus cases in the country, reporting 110,477 cases for the week ending July 29 and 11,515 hospitalizations as of Tuesday, according to data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Although health experts aren't concerned about the Delta Plus variant yet, they say continuous transmission gives the virus leeway to potentially create a variant that's more contagious and dangerous.